<laughs> Yo, what's up guys? Craftagon here and today we're taking a look into Sojourn. It took me forever to get this and I wrote the script like two days ago and just recorded the video now and my editor person is helping me so that's friggin awesome. Thank you Twist. Much love. Anyways, let's get into it. It's 2021 and after a year and a half of the content apocalypse, the hand of Jeff and his team reaches down to earth to save us with Overwatch 2 news. The world may finally be redeemed after so much struggle, but on a real note, thank god they actually gave us some more Sojourn news. Along with the Overwatch 2 news, we actually got to see tons of Sojourn gameplay and some awesome concept art. We can now speculate all of her abilities and even her ultimate, which is honestly more than I expected from the Overwatch team. By going through the clips they showed frame by frame, we're able to see her weapon functions clearly along with the railgun capability and exactly how it charges. We also got a few clips of her model in action, and can I just say, look at them legs! She looks like she won the 2077 Kickboxing World Championship. She could chop the head of a bear off with a friggin' flying roundhouse, dude. Holy hell. And not only are they the legs the of the character robot. designers went all out and added Rhine-like rocket propulsion to the back of her calves and on her back. They've officially announced Sojourn as a DPS, so I can't say I'm too surprised that she looks like she could murder me just by pure intimidation. But I am absolutely super excited to play this character. Along with the speed buff, roll passive to DPS, it's clear that she'll have some sort of slide ability for a movement option, so that's gonna be a ton of fun. Ah uh, yes, crop a slide ability. Now where did you get that? By looking at the shift ability icon in the bottom right, you can see something that looks like a slide icon. We already know she has a robotic rocket-fueled leg, and along with one of the intro clips Blizzard showed, it's easy to guess this is going to be some sort of slide ability. In this concept art, we can also see them mention her slide ability and have it drawn out in between the two figures on the left. I think this will be a super cool ability, especially seeing as I'm a mobility madman. I think the mobility of characters are detrimental to my enjoyment in games as a DPS. I wonder what all we can expect from this ability though. It seems like it only be a forward moving option, but will it deal damage? Or perhaps maybe the Overwatch team has ignored us all once again and decided it'll be another stun in the game. Although. Sliding through enemies like a bowling ball through pins does sound fun, and while we didn't see any shield charge during the clips BlizzCon showed us, I wouldn't be surprised if she gained shield charge from it much like Doomfist and Hammond. Or maybe it's more like a basic Hanzo movement ability. In another clip we can see her fall in a movement that looks like it uses this ability. Wait, does that mean Captain Falcon is in Overwatch? Imagine being a poor Widowmaker, walking along, minding your own business, and all of a sudden the robotic Ronda Rousey flies out of the sky and propels themselves down at you with a rocket-like speed, breaking every bone in your body and sending your nerfed ass back to the spawn. Not to mention, if that doesn't finish you off, she can send a charge from her railgun straight through your skull for a guaranteed fatality. Oh jeez, I can already imagine the balancing for this game when it first releases is gonna be a ton of work for the team. If Sojourn stays true to most characters when they're first released, she will be absolutely way too powerful at the beginning. But regardless, I'm super hyped for the new weapon in Overwatch, the Railgun. Her weapon is an energy rifle with a primary fire that rapidly shoots fast-moving energy projectiles to delete your opponents or lower them to the HP where you can one-shot finish with your right-click Railgun mode as we can see in the bottom right. As we've seen from Quake and every anime ever, Railguns are absolutely precise and go through everything with incredible piercing power. So does that mean we can expect the railgun to go through multiple enemies? I actually think it's possible that it might go through multiple enemies if they're lined up, like the first tier monkey tower upgrade in Balloon's tower defense. Although the rarity of enemies actually lining up perfectly seems high, it'd still be a super cool option that we haven't seen in the game before. What else can we expect from the railgun? Well, if you've ever played Overwatch and competitive, you probably know that the low ranks are dominated by Bunker and Bastion comps, and even the high ranks struggled with double shield comps for a long time. It can be extremely tedious to coordinate a team of randoms into all taking different angles, or working together to blow through the enemy's shields and wipe their team from the field. If the dev team stays true to the railgun iterations we have seen in other media, I feel we can confidently expect her railgun to have the piercing power to hit enemies through shields or have some sort of shield break affinity that other weapons lack. But how often can you really use her full powered railgun shots and how effective are they really? From the clips they showed us, we can clearly see her gun is charging off damaging enemies, and most people actually notice this from the BlizzCon showing, but one thing you guys may have not seen is that it also charges over time by itself. 
The charge holds for as long as you don't shoot it, so you could walk around the whole game for 10 minutes like a silly heck and not shoot a single railgun blast and still have it on backup. Damaging enemies definitely helps it charge quicker, but I noticed the charge also increases by doing damage to shields. I think it's safe to say Sojourn is going to be a huge counter to shield comps, but I wonder how much that matters in the new, more brawly meta that they're introducing. If her arsenal so far doesn't sound absolutely epic to you, fear not! In the video, we can also see Sojourn use her ult. She literally one-shots a 250 HP Orisa with her railgun, and her weapon is constantly charging at an incredible rate to rapidly fire these shots off and delete the enemy team. The community has speculated a few things. Her ult is most likely a damage buff like Mercy or Ana's Nano. It also has an energy recharge boost, and I'd guess a slight damage reduction so she doesn't get absolutely decapitated as soon as her ult starts. But it could be like Genji's where it's just too strong and there's no damage reduction. We also see that there have been two implementations of icons for her ultimate, but they both look pretty similar, and they're probably the same thing. Blizzard probably just updated the icons throughout the recordings. As for this beautiful lady's E ability, we still really don't know too much. Its icon almost looks a lot like Zarya's Graviton Surge, so it's fair to say it might have a similar effect to Zarya's Grav and immobilizes characters. Or possibly a more Orisa Halt-like ability where it drags enemies back to create space for Sojourn to play in when getting dove. Anti-shield and anti-dive? Oh god, I'm hyped. I'd love to hear what you guys think it is. I've looked at a few comments on Twitter and there are some wildly cool guesses like an energy saw that plows through your foes or an energy mine you can plant on the ground and walls. So let me know what you think. Alrighty, well that's all I have on Sojourn's kit for now, but I'm sure I missed a ton of clues. Let me know your thoughts and what you figured out about her kit yourself. I cannot wait to see this character in action. If you liked this video, let me know, and if you disliked the video, also let me know so I can improve it. Thanks for chilling, and don't forget to hop in our Discord and Twitch that I've linked in the bio. And sub, or you die, or something that you like lot perishes forever. Yo, I didn't even put audio on. But anyways, first attempt. Yo, what's up guys? It's Croptagon. Today we're looking into what the fuck was that? What the shit? Who are you? Oh my god. All right, all right, all right. No cursing. <laughs> I stream. Why is this difficult? All right, all right, all right. Yo, what's up guys? It's Croptagon here. And today we're looking at a... Yo. Yo. I hate you. I hate you. Not you. You're great. I hate you. Yo, what's up guys? Croptagon here. And today we're looking at...